Friends are always saying to me, Pam, is there a man in your life? <laughs> in a funny way, there is. It's an odd relationship. I only meet him once a week. Do you think I'm daft? I might be. Daft about him. I don't have far to walk for our weekly meeting. Cinema's just round the corner. Come this way, folks, please. Still come this way. Straight away, Sue, please, if you have tickets. You'll go, Sue. I hope the front row isn't full. Hello, I'm um, just one for stall, please. It's always just one. And now they're waiting till the lights go down. Then the film comes on. Film stops, lights come up, and oh, I'm so excited. It's him. It's really him. My name's Tom Horton, and I'm the resident organist here at the Southwold Electric Picture Palace. I tend to arrive about 10 or 15 minutes before uh, the film interval comes on, and um, after I say hello to the staff, we, uh, we make our way to the kiosk. And then behind the kiosk is a trapdoor with a stepladder going down into the depths of the earth. So after carefully making my way down, uh, we have to crouch down and go down the corridor, which is a little bit like the Great Escape. And towards the end of the auditorium, going underneath all the people sitting up there watching the film, we come to the organ case. And then it's a delicate manoeuvring uh, system of getting yourself up on the steps, opening the door, climbing in, making yourself comfortable and of course you have to be quite quiet because of course you're, you don't want doors bashing and everything like that because the audience is uh, unaware of what's going. And then finally we switch on the power, we power up the computer that has the software program that produces these uh, theatre organ tones and after a few minutes the organ is ready to play and I just sit there quietly um, waiting for the buzzer to go which signals that the interval has started the screen goes up, the curtains open, and it's time for the organist. It was a mad thing to do because we decided we've got no backstage here or anything like that so we hadn't wanted to get the organist in and out without him being seen by the audience and he couldn't sit there the whole time waiting for the interval and so on so we dug this tunnel from the box office underneath right through to the back so the organist can uh, get in and out without being seen. It was mad when we think back of it. it was, we took 42 tonne of material out when we were digging that tunnel. It was insane. Yeah.
the uh, the cinema patrons loved the organ so much that once the talkies came in during the 19, uh, late 1920s, the organ interlude was established, and uh, that's where many people remember the organ rising up out of the floor to play uh, popular music of the day during the interval in between the two films. My organ playing began at the around right about the age of 10 with my grandparents, who were home amateur organists, and they had a new organ delivered. And I saw it and I said, oh, can I have a go on that? And my grandmother said, yes, you can, but here's an organ learning book, which was thrust into my eager mitts. And that's how I got into playing, um, certainly electronic organs. And my first theatre organ experience was on a word at Sir around about age 12. <laughs> The most difficult thing about playing the organ is, I think, for many people, the coordination because you're not just playing with your hands and with your feet, you also have to think about the sounds you're going to choose, you have to think about how you're going to orchestrate the song, and also how you're going to arrange it. So when you play the piano, it's just put the music up and play it, but with, uh, with any organ you have to think about what stops you're going to use, and there's changes of, of sounds throughout, so you have to sort of think in many different ways, not just as a player, but also as a, an orchestral arranger as well. The idea of the keyboards is that the bottom keyboard is what we call the accompaniment on the cinema organ. That's mostly where the left hand sits, and that plays the chords and the accompaniment. The other two keyboards are for the, the melody. The reason that we have more than one keyboard is because you can have one sound on the centre keyboard and then an alternative voice on the top keyboard. Cinema organs are very interesting because early film was not just about showing films, they had all sorts of other entertainments involved and they had a lot of music and they had dancing and all sorts of things. But when they started accompanying silent films with, with pianos, or generally pianos, um, they needed all the sound effects. So the, the Wurlitzer thing came out of providing cinema organists with sound effects so they could accompany the films. So we thought that the, the cinema organ was just one of these frills of the cinema that was just a part of the whole uh, whole thing, really. And, and uh, you know, the frills are as important, if not more important, than the actual film you're watching. come here to Southall Cinema are holiday makers, local patrons of the cinema, and the audiences have really taken the organ to their heart. It's particularly wonderful when we have youngsters in the audience because it's a chance for them to experience what their grandparents and great-grandparents saw at the cinema almost a hundred years ago. I think a lot of people do come just to hear the organ. It's such a treat for many people. In fact, back in the 20s and 30s, um, the organ interlude was the highlight of the evening for many people. So whilst the whole experience of the Southwold cinema here is, is magical, um, I do know quite a few people do like to come and just hear the, uh, hear the organ interlude during the, uh, during the intermission. <laughs> That's it for another week. So I sit through the rest of the film. My heart's not in it. When that organ disappears, that's when the light goes out for me. <laughs> Time for some chips. Nothing to rush home for. I know the 
those shoulders so well, and that head of hair. But I've never seen his face. I've no idea what he looks like. But I do know that that organist entertains me. Thank you.